Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today, July 25, 2022 is the first regular session and the opening of the regular session of the 19th Congress. For today's video, I will be sharing to you some proposed or priority bills of some senators in the 19th Congress who are proposing bills that have something to do with education and teachers welfare. For more details, please watch the full video. And if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated on my next uploads. Number 1. Senator Bong Revilla. Senator Bong Revilla is proposing the bill entitled Kabalikat sa Pagtuturo. This bill seeks to institutionalize the granting of teaching supplies allowance amounting to 5,000 pesos per teacher per school year. According to Senator Revilla, with the meager salary public school teachers are currently receiving, which is not commensurate to the load of work they have to deliver, they are forced to shell out from their own pocket to partly cover the expenses of teaching supplies necessary to conduct their classes effectively. The importance of teaching supplies allowance was highlighted greater amidst the COVID-19 pandemic when teachers struggled to acquire necessary devices and afford internet connection to be able to conduct online classes or cover transportation expenses in work in delivering modules and other learning materials to the homes of their students. To assure that the amount of teaching supplies allowance granted to public school teachers is responsive to their needs and to the ever-changing cost of products, the bill mandates the Secretary of Education to conduct a periodic review of the said allowance, taking into consideration the current prices of classroom supplies and to recommend increase if necessary. Senator Francis Tomentino is proposing the bill entitled Establishment of the Philippine Agricultural High School System. Tomentino wants to add agriculture to the current strands of the K-12 program. Tolentino said including agriculture to the program will encourage young people to venture into the field. Being an agricultural country, we have to focus on agriculture. 31% of our GDP comes from agriculture, so we might as well train the youth. The K-12 program currently has three strands, namely business accountancy and management, humanities, education, social sciences, and science, technology, engineering, mathematics, or STEM. Senator Lauren Ligarda. Senator Ligarda is proposing the following bills. One tablet, one student. Magna Carta for public school teachers. Magna Carta for private school teachers. Upgrading the minimum salaries of public school teachers and personnel. Creation of technical education, training, and certification. The One Tablet, One Student Act seeks to provide each public elementary, secondary, and state universities and colleges student with a tablet computer to enable them to participate in online learning effectively. The Magna Carta of public school teachers also seeks to institutionalize a revised Magna Carta for public school teachers that can promote, protect, and uphold their rights and capably respond to their current needs. Senate Bill No. 3 or the Magna Carta for Private School Teacher seeks to promote and improve the social and economic status of private school teachers, their living and working conditions, terms of employment, and career prospects. Senate Bill No. 4 or an act upgrading the minimum salaries of public school teachers and personnel seeks to upgrade the minimum salaries of public school teachers to salary grade 15 teaching personnel in higher education to salary grade 16 and non-teaching personnel to 16,000 pesos. Senate Bill No. 6 for the Technical Education, Training, and Certification Act of 2022 seeks to strengthen or to create a Department of Technology 
technical education training and certification which shall replace and absorb the current technical education and skills development authority or TESTA. Senator Pia Cayetano is proposing the bill entitled Education Roadmap. This bill seeks to produce well-rounded and competitive Filipino graduates who can keep pace amid the rapidly changing demands of industries and the knowledge-based global economy. Dubbed the proposed Education Roadmap Act, Cayetano said the bill primarily aims to help Filipino students re-strengthen their English proficiency, which she said they are fast losing. Aside from acquiring the so-called four C's of 21st century skill, this bill is primarily aimed to help our students regain our edge in English proficiency, which we are fast losing. Senator Sonny Angara. Senator Sonny Angara is proposing three bills for teachers, welfare, and education. First is the teaching supplies. The teaching supplies bill aims to increase the cash allowance of teachers from 3,500 to 5,000 pesos per teacher per school year to provide teachers with relief from this financial burden. Second is upgrading the salary grade level of teachers from salary grade 11 to salary grade 19. This bill aims to attract more qualified and competent teachers in public schools and help motivate the country's teachers to strive for excellence in their field. And this improves the quality of education in the public school system. The Teacher Education for Achievers or TEACH bill seeks to produce a well-trained workforce through the establishment of a program that provides scholarships to qualified applicants who want to pursue education degree and or training in the areas of learning and education. There you go, fellow teachers. Those are some of the senators in the 19th Congress priority bills that has something to do with teachers' welfare and education. If you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated on my next uploads.